Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of T-Minus 365. Today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up a safe links policy within Defender for Office 365. I'm here within the Defender Admin Center and I've gone under the policies and rules section here, threat policies, and I'm going to click into safe links. Safe links are great because they allow you to have link protection both in email and across your office applications as well too, including Microsoft Teams. Now I've already created a policy here for the sake of demoing, but we're gonna go ahead and set up a new policy here. We're gonna go ahead and give it a name. Next, we can scope this to certain users or groups or domains. So I'm gonna go ahead and sync up my domain here. And ideally, whenever you're testing this out, you should do it against a couple of users and see what the experience is like first before widely applying to all the users within the organization. When I click on next here, I'm taken to the protection settings page. So first and foremost, you're gonna to wanna to turn on the URL protection for malicious URL messages. And this is real-time click protection, which is really important with emails because those links can be changed after delivery. So real-time click protection means that whenever the user actually clicks into that message, it'll do its scan there and detonation in a sandbox environment so that it can detect malicious links. So select the action for unknown and potentially malicious URLs within Microsoft Teams. The same thing I would apply here as well too. You additionally want to apply real-time URL scanning for suspicious links and links that point to files. And I would recommend you wait for URL scanning to complete before delivering the message. This can cause some latency in email delivery in some cases, so you may want to monitor that. Over time, if you get users complaining, this may be a reason why they have latency. So keep an eye on that, but that's the setting I would apply. I would apply safe links to email messages sent within the organization. Um, do not track user clicks. This is something that you could say if you did not want to track their activity within the center. I don't know really why you wouldn't want to do that, so I leave that unchecked. Do not let users click through the original URL, and this is something I would turn on because otherwise they're going to get a prompt that said, hey, we think this is malicious, and then they'll get a message that says, do you still want to continue if you don't check this box? And I typically like to leave that checked. Display the organization's branding on notification and warning pages. I think that's great as well, too, to know that this is actually coming from your organization. And so with that, it'll capture your branding that you've already added to the portal here. You could choose to whitelist some of the URLs as well here, too, if you really wanted to. And then for the notification to the users, there's some boilerplate text from Microsoft. And you'll see that here in a second when I walk through the end user experience, but you could add some of your boilerplate here if you really wanted to customize that message for your end users. When you're done here, you can click on the submit button and that'll go ahead and create this policy. And I'll click on done here. And now you'll notice that the safe links default is actually having the priority of one. And this is something that you could increase as well too if you wanted to. And so it's getting the priority of zero here, which is the highest priority in this case. So let's pop into an end user experience now that we've set this up, just so we can see what it looks like when they actually click on a malicious link. So I'm here within my email and I've got this email coming through here and it's about a rewards trip. So I'm very interested in that. I wanna go ahead and start the survey so I can potentially get that reward. And I actually get this message here that the website has been classified as malicious. Opening this website might not be safe. And it's got a little blurb of the URL here as well. And so it completely prevents this user from clicking on this malicious link. And it doesn't allow me to pass through because I added that setting that said don't allow the user to click through. So this is a really powerful exposure for the safe links policies that you can create. It creates this real-time protection within email, but again, this will occur within Teams as well. So that's everything I wanted to showcase for you guys in today's lesson. Stay tuned for my next lesson. We'll be walking through the safe attachments policy next within Microsoft Defender for Office 365. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.